Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily video. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be doing a few summons. Man, my voice sounds super weird. It sounds so deep. It sounds so very, very deep. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do some summons uh, because I've actually been farming golems for quite a long time. I've been trying to farm up astrogems in order to prepare for the Heroes Festival. At the time of recording, it is currently the 26th on Monday. Um, Heroes Fest should be at the end of the week, so maybe on the 1st of um, July. So it should be, or either on the 30th. It should start in one of one of those two days. Um, and you know, last time they they increased the count to like 6,000. You had to like. Uh, you had to summon like 10 times, which is like 6,000 astrogems. So I'm kind of afraid that they're going to increase it even more. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to farm till maybe like 7,200 just in case. Um, if they increase the count of the Nat 5s. I really don't know if it's really worth it to like keep summoning if they keep increasing the count. Like, um, you know, I remember during the, during the first one, I'm not sure, I don't think there was a fail safe and then they and then like people stop summoning from it, and then the second one, um, if you summon like five, there was like a it's not a fail save system, but it's like a it's like a pity system basically. I, I play some other games that actually had systems similar to that, so it's like basically whenever you don't summon a nat five or something like that, your chances next summon gets like slightly increased, and then um, it eventually evens out. So you'll see like most people getting it on on a certain summon, um, but it's not always guaranteed. For you to get on that summon i don't know for sure but i think in theory that's that's probably what's going on um they have a system kind of like a, a pity system where they um increase your chances every single time that you don't get it so um i'm just you know just in case that just in case i i, I don't make it um i'm going to try to farm as many astro gems as possible in, or, in order to prepare for the heroes festival um so while i was farming astro gems i basically did a lot of golems and i have a, a lot of eggs um, there's really no, like, it doesn't really matter if I rebirth now or rebirth the next month, because I'll pr pretty much have enough to summon for, like, the Phibians and stuff anyways, um, as long as I do 20, I'm gonna try to do, like, 20 rebirths, and then I'll, I'm just gonna stock completely, and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, not, not do any more until the next, next one comes around so I can get more 4 stars. So, yeah, we're gonna do some summons and we're gonna do some rebirths. Okay, let's 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 do this. Fuck, something moved by itself. It's a mini cat. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a nat five from one of these. Actually, that's impossible. Man, when you see people like pop a hundred eggs and they get a nat five, I don't think that really works for me. It's like it's like the good old days when I when I was still farming Golden's B8. I was able to do like 20 summons every single day. All right, I'm just gonna keep going until I run out of um, until I run out of room, and then we'll do some rebirth. Now I still don't have my computer. Um, I don't have my cord. Um, my my. My tummy ass left my power cord in Taiwan, so I actually ordered one online. It says one to two days delivery, but I didn't know that it takes three days to process. So it might not even be, it might not even be here today. Man, this is so hard, clicking so many eggs. Now I keep getting variant Julys. Ooh, this one has a perfect leader skill. Maybe I should feed that into my Dark July. Yes, four star. Ooh, I think this is my last Yuki. Wait, or do I already have an Evil 3 Yuki? I think I already had one. In the back of my mind, I was short one. But I think I already have an Evil 3 Yuki. I haven't summoned in so long, that's why. What's it going to take to get a nat 5 from an egg? Come 
Come on. Dang it. This isn't, this isn't working. Hmm. I actually have quite a lot of inventory room. You know, I I was like, it was so bad yesterday. If you guys couldn't tell, I don't know, I probably can. I was like super uncomfortable yesterday. I had like really bad food poisoning, but I still, I still like, still, still got to make the daily video. That's how it works. on oh my god I'm not I'm not getting anything I need some nat fours is it just me or maybe they lowered the the rate of the eggs they like I think that's that's one of the ways they can nerf the gold is they can actually nerf the rate of the eggs and then give more eggs ooh I got a variant Hana hmm do I need a variant Hana? I'll, I'll I'll keep it for like a future Hana. Her leader skill is not that good. It just adds recovery. So as you as you all know, recovery is pretty shitty. go back to days of farming B8 where like I get like 20 eggs a day now we're not even halfway through ooh I got a variant Cura as well her variant skill is not that good I might I might actually I might actually feed her into the grinder the grinder being rebirth for rebirth fest Although, I already have like two variant Verdes, so I'm not sure if I need another one. I'll probably keep it for like when they bring Thor back, because I, I still don't have a variant Thor. And I have like a lot of variant 4 stars I can use now. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a variant Thor once once it comes back. Alright, um... Some people say it's actually better to release. I'm not sure if I can get 20 before. Should I release or should I should I rebirth? I already have like a million cocos. Maybe I should release. Wonder how much I get for releasing. Ooh, yeah, I get gold for releasing. Hmm. Alright, this is for science. 3,000, 30k, some fruit, pretty useless. Ooh, I got 100k. Okay, we're, we're releasing all of them. I think I have enough Cocos already. Ooh, I got Astro Gems too. Okay, we're, we're definitely releasing them all. You know, in the future, maybe if I don't need that many Rebirths, I can... I can release some of them. Yeah, 100k. Just like that. It's beautiful. What? She didn't give me anything? 10k? Come on, give me, an, give me another egg or something. I'm not too interested in doing fusion now, so I'm just, uh, feed some of them away. I can actually make some of my July's variants. Give them, like, this, this maxed out variant skill. 
I'll keep the sirens because the sirens seem somewhat important. All right, this should be enough. You know, it's actually like you get you get more resources if you release if you're like desperate right now, and I'm pretty desperate because I need to I need to make enough for uh for heroes fast. That was basically a hundred astrogens just now from all that gold. I already have like a million cocos anyways. So I think I'll just keep releasing until the next uh next rebirth comes out. Come on man, give me some lightning. I think that's what they're doing to nerf the gold the gold gain because what they can do is actually they can increase the rate of the eggs in golems and then uh, lower the rate of the eggs like lower the summoning rates this way they, they keep a balance and then, uh, yeah, and then you make less gold in golems, so you can't farm Astro Gems as fast. And, you, like, it's, it's gonna be, like, pretty much unnoticeable. Unless, unless I tally everything. You think, like, oh, I got another egg, so that's, that's another summon, so that's actually pretty nice. But, getting more eggs means you get less gold. So, there's actually a risk there. Alright, we got nine more, and then we got these like elemental eggs, and I have a one last legendary egg. Hopefully I get one more lightning before then. Besides the legendary egg, obviously. Man, never lucky. I've been looking for a triple square wood cocoa. I wanna I wanna try to raise one, but I I'm too lazy to like farm for gems or give them good gems. So I think the only way I can raise them is if I if I got triple square. I'm gonna do it for fun, just like show that wood coco has a lot of potential. Ooh, I got another Loki. That actually might be my last Loki I need for an Evo 3 Loki. All right, let's let's do this. You know, I actually should check. Yeah, that's that's my last Loki I need. Perfect, and I, I got one of each, each color. All right, finally got them maxed out. So also got a lot of astrogens from this. I get a uh, sixty here. I think I get a hundred eighty here. Ooh, that's that's nice. If I convert this, I'll have like 4,000 4, Astro Gems. Just need to farm 2,000 more before we're, we're good. Um, I'll, I'll release a few and then, then we'll keep going.
All right. I think that should be enough room. Ooh, got another lightning. Got another Loki. It's beautiful. Come on, man. Where are the Nat Fives? Man, why do these fire eggs cost more to summon? Ooh, I got a variant cocoa, that's that's pretty good. I've been needing those. Is it just me or is it laggy as whole hell? All right, we're almost there. Come on, give me, give me lightning on this last egg. All right, maybe, maybe the, my legendary egg will give me a variant. Then I'll be really lucky. All right, got another Yuki. Um. I'm pretty sure my Fire Yuki is already Evil 3. I can't, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, she's already Evil 3. Alright, so... Um, yeah, that was pretty good. I actually got my Loki to Evil 3, so that's that's pretty good. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. It's just me doing a bit of summons. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'll, I'll be back again um, with another video after I, you know, start raising some things. Actually, I probably need to spend the next little while farming a lot of Astro Gems because I don't have enough for Heroes Fest and we don't know what type of bullshit they're going to pull this time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.